Hey guys, Old Beater Cars Workshop. Look what we got on the bench now. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. So we are thinking about building another cool project. Something I do not have in my collection yet. I'm always looking for something different to add to my collection and come up with a great idea. Well, it's actually it's a rolling idea. Well, never mind. <laughs> Skip that, but. Um, Anyways, I belong to quite a few uh, truck, uh, like semi-truck groups on Facebook, and uh, I also belong to like a lot of um, heavy heavy haul uh, groups too, where or heavy haul or heavy construction, and um, that's like you know how the YouTube uh, how YouTube how the Facebook has new pictures come up on the feed, right? So, anyways, uh, they came up. On the uh, heavy construction, they had an older, I think it was a Kenworth. I heard the Kenworth, but I don't know how the Kenworth that worked for this project, but it was Kenworth, a rock truck. Something from the early 70s, even late 60s. I think it was late 60s, I think it was. And I guess they, it's a picture from they were when they were putting the road uh, through like modifying the road and such uh, to Alaska, because of course they've been upgrading the highway for years and years and years, right? So um, <clears throat> that particular model where they were doing work on that Alaskan highway, and uh, of course, if you know the rock trucks, I don't know how uh, how familiar you guys are with the rock trucks, but you have to maybe research it. They're not as popular in the lighter duty as they are now. Now they have, you know, uh, 60 ton, uh, 100 ton, and plus over 100 ton, uh, like mining trucks, right? To do these projects now. So anyways, um, anyways, um, basically the trucks are built in a certain manner where they're, they're strictly off-road, right? They're not designed for on-road driving. They're strictly off-road trucks. And of course, being off-road trucks, they need high, uh, higher stance, higher stance in here. The fenders are not not like this, so this means I'll have to cut the fenders off the off the hood here, which is okay, and put make my own metal fenders because these trucks have a higher stance, right? So uh, basically, if the guy wants to work on the truck, he has to get out of the cab, walk in the fender, and work on the engine. That being said, this whole hood here is going to be cut. So you get access to the engine and also being these trucks run around in first or second gear all day long of course they're working hard right and you need airflow so um you need lots of airflow to keep that engine cool and we're gonna be cutting that hood for that purpose the bumper should be okay i'll have to add some little ladder some little ladders here for that uh, fenders the gas tank should be okay of course i'm gonna have to raise the cab up a bit maybe uh, I can uh, scale, I don't know, probably quarter inch, quarter to three eighths of an inch. I have to raise the cab up because these, tar these trucks are lifted. I mean, and the rear suspension too, I'm not too sure. Uh, of course, there, it's a heavy duty uh, suspension on those trucks, and I'll probably just have to use what I got and modify what we have here. Um, I'm gonna have to source out taller tires. I'm not too sure what the tires look like on this, I can't remember. But I may have to go to taller tires. Um, find something, I'm not too sure yet. I might have something in the stash that may work, but I don't know, we'll have to see. So yeah, so that's, um, of course it's gonna be, I uh, don't need a sleeper on it, so all these things are gonna come off, which, uh, which there's no need for it. Um, now the box, the dump box on it is not a regular dump box. They're a lot wider, and some of them actually go beyond the, the tires, right? So they're built basically coming heavy, and uh, that's what a guy wants. So, and also the wheelbase is probably going to be altered too, which is okay. So, anyways, um, it's um, quite the project, and uh, like I said, I've been thinking about this for quite a long time, and uh, figure well, what the hell, might as well get onto it, and. Uh, so this is my August uh, project. So uh, I might have to, um, yeah, forget that.
there's a guy on uh, online I have to find out what his name is but uh, he has all the resin truck parts but um, well probably 3d printed now but you have to get some uh, taller tires for sure or make something well we'll figure it out right so anyways um, yeah so that's that's where it is right now and um, if you guys want to know anything about rock trucks just type in rock trucks into Google and you'll see what I'm talking about um, old school of course is not not as not as cookum as you are now but uh, you know it's uh, it, it is the way it is right so this would be more of a lighter duty version of what they used in actual mines this is more for real construction so um, we had recently or well, we're doing a we're, I mean our my company is always doing it's we're always doing real construction all the time right we're always doing real construction projects <clears throat> and uh, we recently had in the yard a big uh, Volvo uh, rock truck you know, articulates in the center so uh, that was kind of cool i was looking at it oh, that's a cool machine the tires like has about i don't know two three feet on me and i'm six foot tall right through so these big huge tires so it actually were fixed a tire on it i had to use a special machine to uh, take the tire off but anyways uh it's getting a bit off topic <laughs> as always but yeah so that's the next project so thanks for watching and i'll try to post uh more videos on this this is gonna be a really interesting cool build and uh you know just something well not not unusual for old beater cars workshop because we're trying to always trying to do something different and cool and uh basically what no one else does or was that whatever anybody can do it but you know i've got my particular style so anyways um anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye